Welcome back guys, hope everybody is doing well. So now uh, we're actually back here for the second part of uh, the video. Uh, if you did see the last part, uh, that's where we visited a couple of places in North of Wales. Obviously it was a bit too much to put in one video so this is the second part of the, that video. And in this part, uh, we're starting off here actually uh, going off uh, to the city of Holyhead, which is right in the corner of Anglesey. It's about 20 minutes to half an hour drive from where we were staying in Bangor. Uh, again, the population of this city is about. 13 and a half thousand and we are actually making our way to South Stack Lighthouse. Yeah, just quickly about uh, Holyhead. Holyhead is actually a small island on the Anglesey side of North Wales where you have to actually cross a bridge to get on uh, to this island and then from there we actually made our way to this lighthouse uh, South Stack light, Lighthouse which was built on um, this island on Holyhead. It was actually built in 1809 to warn ships of the dangers in that area. There's a lot of rocks and stuff like that which uh, were dangerous for ships. Height of it is uh, about 92 feet. Unfortunately, when we got to the lighthouse, we found out actually the it is actually closed. Now I, I don't know if they were doing some kind of construction there. Maybe the reasoning was actually COVID, and because it's a small space over there, there's not much social distancing that can happen in that situation. So uh, maybe they thought, you know what, in that case, let's just close that area. But you can still go down the, this little pathway. Uh, all the way down to close to the lighthouse problem here is there's a lot of these 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 are like the stairs start from down when you get um, halfway down there's a lot of stairs and one thing for sure is that you don't want to be going down there with kids even adults is it's actually really difficult I did try to go down there it's really windy and this was a clear day I'm sure on a rainy day where overcast conditions there would have been even more wind there people are struggling also when you get down there to come back up is a bit of a mission as well it it is it gets tiring this is it's, it's about climbing maybe a 16 story building at the end on, on stairs coming back up yeah it was definitely not safe and a lot of people are going down there I would say if you go down there do go down there alone, adults maybe, but definitely don't take kids down there because there's apparently there's, there's a lot of people that have got hurt there and even lost their lives going down these stairs by falling because of the wind and smashing their head on the rocks. So that's definitely dangerous. I wouldn't recommend. It's it's, it's actually you can go halfway or if you are going down there alone, then yeah, fair enough, go for it. But definitely don't take kids down there there's a lot of people actually that were climbing these fences as well and getting onto the other side and getting onto the corner just to get a better angle or a better shot of, of uh, the um, lighthouse again that's definitely not recommended a lot of people have actually uh, had accidents doing that as well so 
def that you don't try that as well. With as far as the wind was concerned, as you can see, even when I was going down there, I was struggling to even hold my phone to uh, record this because it was so windy. I was trying to grab onto the side as well. There's not much to grab on there as well, to be honest. So yeah, definitely it's um, it's a really beautiful place. But again, if you are going to go there, please do it safely. And uh, all the way down there, as you can see, that's the lighthouse. There's a little bridge down there, which you actually go through to get to the lighthouse because the lighthouse is actually a, a small, another little small island, uh, which is uh, which is there. There's a bridge connecting there, so that is the situation there.
Just 72 inches wide and 122 inches high. Yeah, again, as I said, it's uh, famous for two sightseeing spots. The second one is actually this castle called Ken Conway Castle. It was actually built by Edward I during his conquest of Wales between 1283 and 1289. It cost a huge amount of sum actually at that period 15,000 pounds and it played a hu huge role in several wars built by again like the last castle we visited to um, the Carnarvon castle this one again was built by the same person James of St. George and the condition is ruined it's actually really bad condition I think they obviously try to keep it that way maybe for the character of the castle.
the next location is actually the Great Omri is a limestone headland on the north coast of Wales. It's actually northwest of the town of Landudno. Its English name derives from the old Norse word for sea serpent. Yeah, this is definitely a place that you must visit. It's got picturesque views. Definitely great for uh, the sunset. You want to catch the sunset. It's actually marine drive, which actually drives around this mountain edge. Beautiful, honestly, it was an amazing experience going all the way around this coastline with the sea, the sea on one side, and then you got mountains and cliffs on one side. Brilliant, absolute must go there. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this part of the video, do visit these areas if you get a chance, we really enjoyed ourselves, hopefully you can go there and enjoy this experience yourself. If, you, if this video helped you in any way, like, share and subscribe and until next time, uh, just stay tuned for the next video, see you soon, goodbye.